Hey everybody, welcome to Chef on a Boat, where I'll show you how to create large flavors in small spaces. So today we're gonna to cook a smoked uh, brisket, uh, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna do it sous vide and finish it in the oven using liquid smoke to give it that great smoky flavor. So let's go downstairs and get started with this. There are a number of different rubs you could use, but I prefer to keep it simple. Some salt, pepper, and some ancho chili powder. Prog powder isn't necessary, but it gives that pink ring that replicates the smoke ring found in slowly barbecued uh, smoked meats. I use molasses as a base for the rub, as it helps to add extra flavor and also works to hold the spice rub to the meat. The molasses also helps to give the brisket a nice bark as it finishes in the oven. If you don't have a smoker, liquid smoke is a great alternative to get that smoky flavor. I add it just before I vacuum seal the brisket. Once it's vacuum sealed, I sous vide the brisket for 24 to 36 hours at 155 degrees Fahrenheit. And the ping pong balls help to reduce evaporation. Well, it's been 30 hours and it's time to finish in the oven. There's some delicious juices here that you want to save for making a sauce. But first, we want to pat the brisket dry before doing another quick coating of molasses and dry rub. I find that finishing the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour gives a nice bark or crust. You could also do two hours at 300 degrees, but either way, make sure to cover it and let it rest for 30 minutes. While we're waiting for the brisket to cool, I'm gonna use the juices from the sous vide bag to make a great sauce uh, for the brisket and for the mashed potatoes that I'm gonna be serving with it. Look how juicy and tender this turned out. Sous vide with an oven finish is such a great way to cook a brisket. The pink salt or prog powder we used earlier as part of the rub, while not necessary, replicates that pink border which is found in slowly smoked meats. Now it's time to plate this, sit down, and enjoy it with some grilled corn, chive mashed potatoes, and of course homemade barbecue sauce. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Until next time, bon appetit.